Welcome. This will be our final blog for December for the whole year of 2015. And so I decided that it would be nice to just do a little recap and look back at where have we been over the course of the year. And frankly, I was really quite surprised as I looked at all the topics we covered. There was a lot of territory. Wow. And so I've sort of captured and brought it all together just as a tiny review of what have we been addressing? What have we found interesting and important to kind of look at and share with you? And so there's three big topics that really have stood out, I would say, and one is the whole way we've evolved and formed our identity. So I've talked a lot about that in terms of how does our identity form? Can we be out of date? and out of touch in some ways with who we've really become. Can you know we really clear trauma and how much does trauma affect it? Did a little piece with Monica Lewinsky's interview where she talked about how powerfully a negative experience can impact a person when you don't know who you are. And that really struck with me. And so that's been a whole big theme. Another very big theme has the, been the brain. And as you know, I'm very interested in the brain. I love the brain stuff. And we've looked at different aspects as we've talked about the topic of the brain. We've looked at research on how the brain actually can, ev can grow, repair itself. There's been some amazing science and um, the new technology of how we can work with our brain and in fact, you know, overcome things like strokes much more quickly, how the brain can actually handle pain even though the body hasn't changed. So very exciting things in that aspect of how our brain is actually working. We've also looked at the brain in terms of right and left hemisphere. And dear Daniel Pink inspired me and we did a whole series on our right brain, our creativeness. What are the aspects of ourselves that we're going to need in the future? What are the leaders of the future really going to be strong in, in terms of how they use their brain? And we finished not long ago with a whole piece on feeding and care of your brain. Because it's so important if we really want our brains to work well, which many of us as we're getting older are more and more conscious. How does our brain work? Can we support it? Can we prevent, in fact, aging of the brain? and there's foods we can feed it, there's things we shouldn't be doing. It was really inspiring to hear Preet talk about the brain, which is a small percentage of our body, and yet how critical it is, how much fuel it uses, and so on. So if you're interested in any of that, those are all in the blogs. We also looked at creativity, and what blocks creativity, what supports it, Stephen Pressfield, we did a little piece on him because he so impressed me and I think if I were to pull out one quote for the year, it would be Stephen's. He's an author, he studied resistance and what it takes to write and to consistently be in that creative mode. And his quote for the year that I really like is, put your ass where your heart wants to be. Which is a great way of saying in a very matter of fact, Put your body where you want to be. If you want to be fit, put your body in the gym. If you want to write, put your seat, your bum in your seat and do the writing. So really interesting information from him, someone who studied resistance. On the other side, we looked at intentions. What do I need to set? that intentions really lead and guide. And Bill Chalmers came and joined us and talked about the power of intentions and how a daily practice can profoundly change your life. And we looked at creativity. Diane Lund joined us, the founder of Creative Wonders. We've looked at creativity in terms of what she's noticed about people and being creative and what stops. And how often we have a far too limited picture of what's possible compared to what someone like she could see for our business or our company. And we also looked at creativity through DeWitt Jones' eyes, the National Geographic photographer, amazing man, amazing photographer, and how he sees creativity on a daily basis. And his quote was, creativity is falling in love with the world. So we really covered a lot of territory. If you're interested, please go back and look at some of the blogs. I was quite impressed with some of them. 
And I want to give a big shout out to Paul Johnson, who wrote some of the pieces. He brought the images, the creativity of producing all of that. It's been invaluable, and simply we wouldn't have blogs without his input, creativity, passion, and heartfulness. And so now as I look forward, um, what I want to say first and foremost is I want to wish you a Merry Christmas, a very, very happy season where you can really be in touch with love and joy and all the blessings that you do have because it's just incredible. I've recently heard an interview with Gretchen Rubin and she's got a book on the Happiness Project where she realized even though she had a beautiful life with a husband and children and enough financial security and so on, she wasn't getting the happiness out of the day-to-day -day moments that she could. And so she made a project out of that. Once a month, a focused topic of how she could get more happiness out of different aspects of her life. I think it's a great idea. I'm going to get the book and uh, make a point of looking at where else can I get more happiness out of my life and out of the everyday moments. But we'd also like to say to you, as well as wishing you a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year, we'd love to hear from you in terms of what you'd like for next year. What topics are you interested in? Paul and I have been investigating. We're now looking at doing some podcasts where we dig into some of the topics in a little more in-depth way. We're going to have some shorter blogs. We're looking at different ways of staying connected. So we'd really love to hear from you. What interests you? What would you like to have as a topic of conversation or explored? Because that would give us some great input for next year's agenda. Well, finally, thank you for being part of this journey that we're all on and listening to the blogs, sharing the comments. It's very, very nurturing for me to be able to share ideas, to explore things that I'm curious about and that matter to me. And so thank you for that privilege of having you in my life in this way and best wishes.